Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to display user status is online or offline in this chat application by using jQuery Ajax in Code Igniter framework. In previous part, we have seen how to display unread chat message notification in this chat application. Now in this part, Login user can see which user is online, and which user is offline. For this, we have go to chatview.php file, and under this file, we have go to load chat user function. And here we have write output variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code like, Italic tag with class is equal to offline, id is equal to online status, with data count index dot receiver id variable. This tag will display green circle, if user is online otherwise it will display gray circle. Next we have go to check chat notification function, and here we have write if statement. And under condition, we have write data count index dot status variable value is equal to online. If this condition true, that means user is online, and under this block, we have write dollar with id online status with data count index dot user id and here we have write at class method and under this we have write online this code will add online class to this tag and it will display green circle near user name below this we have again write dollar with id online status with data count index dot user id with remove class method and under this we have write offline it will remove offline class from this tag and it will display gray circle but suppose above condition falls that means user is offline and it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with id online user, with data count index dot user id. And here we have write at class method, and under this we have write offline, it will add offline class to this tag. After this, we have again write dollar with id online status, with data count index dot user id with remove class and under this we have write online it will remove online class from this tag now we have go to chat controller and here go to check chat notification method under this we have write dollar this with chat model with update login data method. This method will update login date and time value. Now we have go to chat model method and here we have make update login data method. Under this we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with last activity key, with value date function, with date time format. After this, we have write dollar this with database object, with where method, with to argument, in first argument, we have write login data id table column, and in second argument we have write dollar session login id variable.
Next, we have write dollar this, with database object with update method with two argument. In first argument we have write login data table, and in second argument we have write dollar data variable. This method will update login last activity column data. After this, we have go to check chat notification method. And here we have write dollar status variable is equal to offline. Below this, we have write dollar last activity variable is equal to dollar this with chat model with user last activity method. And under this we have write dollar sender ID variable. This method will return user last activity date and time data. Now we have go to chat model, and here we have make user last activity method, with dollar user ID variable as argument. Under this method, we have write dollar this with database object with where method, with two argument. In first argument we have write user ID, and in second argument, we have write dollar user ID variable. It will add where condition in select query. Now we have login into Adonis Martin account. So here we have enter Google account login credential, and click on login button. Here we have login into Adonis Martin account, and here we can see welcome user message, and in notification area, we can see John Martin chat request, we can see here. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, dollar this with database object, with get method, and under this we have write login data table name, it will make select query, and execute it. Now we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar query variable with result method, as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write return statement, with dollar row variable with last activity table column name, it will return user last activity details, which is output of this function. Now we have go to chat controller, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar last activity variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar current timestamp variable is equal to string to time function. And under this we have write date function with date and time format, minus 10 second. It will remove 10 second from current date and time value. Now we have again write dollar current timestamp variable is equal to date function and under this we have write date and time format and in second argument we have write dollar current timestamp variable. Next we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar last activity variable value is greater than dollar current timestamp variable value, if this condition true. Then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar status variable is equal to online. After this, we have go to dollar output array, 
and here we have add one more key with name status, and in value we have write dollar status variable. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Hello friends. In one browser, we have login as John Martin in this chat application, and in other browser, we have login as Adonis Martin in this chat application. Now we have refreshed web page in John Martin browser, and same as we have refreshed web page at Adonis Martin browser. After refresh of web page, in John Martin account, we can see Adonis Martin is online, and at Adonis Martin account, here we can see John Martin is online. Now we have log out from Adonis Martin, and go to John Martin account, and here we can see Adonis Martin name, here we can see gray circle, which display Adonis Martin is offline. Now again we go Adonis Martin, and go to chat application page, and after go to John Martin account, and here we can see green circle at Adonis Martin user name, that means Adonis Martin is online. So this way we can display user is online or offline in this chat application.